Ayla join me to explore the relationship between fame and faith. And we hear the hymns and songs they've chosen that inspire them. London's Dominion Theatre. It's the place where in the early 80s I played to full houses at the start of my pop career. Since then, I've worked in the world of television as vocal coach, talent judge and presenter. Coming back to this venue reminds me of that feeling of euphoria, of being on stage with an audience who were there to see me. It reminds me of how much I love. But what I didn't realise was that once you're in the spotlight, that time of being anonymous ends, you're often under scrutiny and you can't turn back from that. Now, of course, fame has its many privileges, don't get me wrong, but it also has its responsibilities and sometimes its drawbacks. I'm looking forward to meeting three very different celebrities who have shared the experience of fame to find out what it's like for them to have lived their lives in the public eye and to discover what role faith has played in their journey. How do they balance the demands of fame with the very personal requirements of faith? Before we hear their music choices, our first hymn from Arundel Cathedral puts God very firmly in the spotlight. Being famous is an aspiration these days. In recent polls of young people, it often tops the list, ahead of being good looking or rich. Our first guest really knows what it's like to have been famous from a young age. She's the actress Daniela Westbrook. Gotcha. Daniela shot to fame at the tender age of 15, playing the role of tearaway teenager Sam Mitchell in EastEnders. Gorgeous. Hey. Where'd you get him? The trauma of her on-screen character was mirrored in her private life. Daniela fought a very public battle with drug addiction, and some saw her as an example of the excesses of celebrity gone wrong. I want to find out how Daniela's perspective on fame has changed now that she's found faith. Daniela, what was it like to be a star at such a young age? It was weird, if I'm honest, because all my f I was just a normal girl from, from Essex. And getting into EastEnders, like, literally two weeks before I left school was, was crazy. All I wanted to do was be an actress. Mm. So I was excited at the prospect of, like, I was doing what I loved more so than being famous. And then as, as time went on, the fame overtook doing what I loved. Did fame rob you of the joy of acting? Yes, I think it did. Um, 
I think because I just didn't know what to expect, I didn't know how to handle it. You know, I haven't been brought up in that, that side of life and celebrities and film stars and going to premieres and meeting Tom Cruise and, you know, crazy things that just don't happen to, to the kids. And did drugs play a part in that at that point? How did that become part of your life? I was, I was taking drugs within a few years of being at EastEnders and, and that really showed in my performance and, you know, the, the party inside of it and the celebrity side of it was more important than the job. How bad did it get before you went, I need to do something about this? It just got to the point where in the end I was pregnant with my daughter um, and the doctor said to me, oh, you're my liver, everything was given up. And he's like, you're going to lose the baby, but you're going to die. And I was like, I don't actually really want to die. I want, I want to live. I'm, I found the man I want to spend the rest of my life with. I've got a wonderful son. I'm about to have another baby. And, you know, the devil's got hold of me. This, this drug has got hold of me and I can't let it beat me. I know I'm, I know I'm worth more than this. I was like a possessed person at that time and I had to flick the switch. Life's not always as it seems A different route from A to B As the plans you may come tumbling down When you're questioning the why And it's hard to see the light And you're praying for And it's hard to carry on I know that this is true My God cares for you All hope has disappeared And you're running out of tears I can tell you he is near My God cares for you Oh yes, he cares for you can be found as the waves come crashing round and you find you're driven to your knees when you're overwhelmed with fear and it feels like it's been years you've been asking God please rescue me I know the pain is strong and it's hard to carry You know that his arms are strong enough to carry you, lift you up in the safety of his love. Just hold on, he will come. The Lord our God will comfort you, give you strength enough to see you through the storm. Since those difficult years, Daniela has turned a corner. As a working mum, she's returned to the world of soaps. And unlike those early days, Daniela is now a Christian. So the journey from sort of addiction and being close to the point of death to the you now, what role did faith play in that journey? I've always believed in God, mm -hmm. always. Um, I just didn't know him. Throughout my using and my darkest times, I did used to speak to God. Mm. You know, when you're, when you're alone and you're at your depths, and I think people do that in any case, whatever they're going through in life, even if they're not spiritually aware, yeah. at their darkest moments, the person they call upon is God. Yeah. And I did that a lot. And then my last stint in, in treatment in Arizona, I was pregnant with my daughter and I couldn't sleep and I went out onto, into the desert. Just stood there looking up, looking up, and I was like, God, if you're there, if you have a plan for me, then you need, you need to show me because I'm ready, to, I'm ready for your help. It's your will, not mine, and I, and I need to go with it. I can't do this on my own, my way doesn't work. And if you have a plan for me, I don't care if it's not acting, I don't care what it is, I just, I need to live. 
I want you in my life, and if you'll if you'll take me, then then I'm ready. Are people surprised when they discover that you have faith? People found out I had faith when I was in America, and I was already well into being a, like two years. I'm still a baby Christian. I'm still work in progress, as as we all are. None of yeah. us are ever going to be perfect. And back in England, there was like, oh my God, she's gone from a drug addict to a crazy Christian, and. I'm like, you know what, if you want to label me, label me, that's cool. But walk a mile in my shoes and, you know, and then, and then judge. Mm. And I, I used to be a big person for judging until I came into the church. And that was one thing I had to check myself on constantly was not to judge others. But what does fame mean to you today? And how has faith influenced what you think fame is? Actually, what I've realised is fame is the biggest addiction there is. Everybody wants it, whether they say they do or not. Most people want it. Most people, when they've got it, don't know what to do with it. And then they either want more of it or they want to get rid of it because they don't like it. And then I've realised through my faith that actually using your status, whether it be as an actress or whatever that may be, mm. can actually do a lot of good for a lot of causes. What kind of person are you today? I think I'm more honest. I'm more... Selfless, which is great. I'm just a mum, you know, that tries to do the right thing. And I'm, I just feel like I'm turning the page into a new chapter of my life now with my faith and, and moving into my 40s this year. It feels like a great new chapter is about to start. It feels like life's just beginning. What role does God play in your life? God's my father, and he always will be. He's my parent, he's the person I speak to in my time of need, he's the person I trust in. Sometimes I just think, I think my way's better and it never is. And God will always be my father. And, that, and that's just the way, the way it is for me. Are there any pieces of music that you go, yeah, I can identify with that? I'm more of an evangelistic church. Mm. So I'm very quite rocky and I love praise and worship. I love seeing people be free and lit up in, in, in God. It feels great. <laughs> 